Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you so much for coming here, whether in person or virtually. My name is Connor Arakaki, and I'm currently a senior here at Ilani School. And under the mentorship of Dr. Chan, I was able to conduct my honors independent research project entitled Designing an Educational Resource for Maternal Health Disparities Among Native Hawaiians. Being the middle child of four and an aunt to two, I've had firsthand experience on witnessing the beauty and strength of pregnancy and motherhood. From this exposure for the longest time, my dream career was to, become, was to go into medicine and become an OBGYN, which I pursued through the amazing opportunity of research at the Center for Reproduction and Women's Health at the University of Pennsylvania as a part of a STEM program for minority students. The intersection of my identity as a native Hawaiian, my interest in maternal health, and familial experiences culminated into my research project of designing an educational resource for maternal health disparities. According to the Center for Disease Control, health disparities are, prevented, are preventable differences in the burden to achieve optimal health experienced by socially disadvantaged racial, ethnic, or other population groups and communities. In other words, health disparities are the differences in health of various groups of people. In the United States, the elimination of health disparities is considered to be a national health priority, especially among indigenous populations such as Native Hawaiians. Among Native Hawaiian mothers, maternal obesity and gestational diabetes are the two most disproportionate gestational conditions compared to Native Hawaiians' other racial counterparts. And quantifying the magnitude of health disparities in Hawaii, 23% of maternal deaths in Hawaii between 2015 and 2017 were among Native Hawaiian mothers, despite Native Hawaiians not consisting of Hawaii's majority population. There are three main causes of Native Hawaiian maternal health disparity causes. First is historical causes, second is socioeconomic causes, and finally are health risk factors. First discussing historical causes, the illegal occupation and overthrow of the Native Hawaiian monarchy in 1893 was a pivotal event that worsened the health for many Native Hawaiians. As a result of the overthrow, Native Hawaiians became overrepresented in lower socioeconomic groups, faced greater difficulties accessing health care, and developed a severe distrust in medicine. Second, moving on to the socioeconomic causes, these have exacerbated Native Hawaiian maternal health disparities. For example, educational attainment, which is dictated by socioeconomic status, influences maternal health outcomes tremendously, especially because there are lower levels of educational attainment among Native Hawaiians compared to their racial counterparts. Secondly, as mentioned previously, Native Hawaiians compared to their racial counterparts have a lower socioeconomic status, which limits their economic resources to health promoting goods and services. Finally, pre-existing health risk factors such as high blood pressure, obesity, heart disease, and as pictured above, substance abuse, all disproportionately affect Native Hawaiian mothers and can also exacerbate their pregnancy outcome. So understanding the magnitude and causes of these Native Hawaiian maternal health disparities, I was compelled to answer the research question, how can I design an educational resource for maternal health disparities among Native Hawaiians? And for this research project, I've created three main research goals. First was to research and identify interventions that can fulfill the gaps of maternal health care resources in Hawaii's healthcare system. Second was to integrate Native Hawaiian cultural principles with maternal health concepts for Native Hawaiian mothers and Hawaii's medical practitioners into two educational pamphlets, which you all have. And to lastly, raise awareness of, sorry, I'm gonna admit this person really quick. And to third is to raise the awareness of the health disparities that indigenous groups face through disseminating and sharing research via an educational pamphlet. For my educational resource, I decided to use a pamphlet as my platform because it can easily be disseminated among Native Hawaiians and can also withhold much more content than digital platforms, which usually present bite-sized pieces of content. And I decided to have two different audiences for my platform. First is Native Hawaiian mothers, and second is Hawaii's medical practitioners, who are the two main actors that can alleviate Native Hawaiian maternal health disparities. And um, to the right is an outline of the steps that I took to design my, my pamphlets. Um, first, I researched and identified the principles of current successful Native Hawaiian health programs and interventions. And second, I identified the gaps of resources and interventions needed in Hawaii's healthcare system. Third, I integrated Native Hawaiian cultural principles into the messaging of my pamphlets. And fourth, I revised and reviewed my pamphlets with Native Hawaiian researchers and my peers. So going on to the first step, which is to identify characteristics of successful Native Hawaiian health resources. For my research, I've identified three successful, successful characteristics. First is that these resources have a multidisciplinary and multicultural curriculum. 
a multicultural curriculum rebuilds trust between Native Hawaiian patients and Native Hawaiian medical providers. The second successful characteristic is an emphasis on self-management. Native Hawaiian health programs and interventions that have self-management principles are found to minimize hospital readmission, increase the quality of life, and provide patients with more control over their own medical process. And the third su successful characteristic is the involvement of Native Hawaiian medical providers and the Native Hawaiian community. Involvement of the Native Hawaiian community enables better communication between patients and medical providers, which then reinforces trust among the, native, um, the, among the medical process. The second step of my research project was to identify the gaps of resources and subsequent interventions needed in Hawaii's healthcare system. And the first intervention that I found was needed was in diet and nutrition, evident as there are current disparities in obesity rates among Native Hawaiians compared to their racial counterparts. And additionally, there's a extreme difficulty among Native Hawaiians to maintain a healthy diet and even access healthy foods with the prevalence of food deserts in Hawaii. Therefore, there are interventions needed to assist mothers in diet planning and also mapping out locations to access healthy food during their pregnancy to guarantee their child the proper nutritional requirements and also protect their own health from maternal obesity and gestational diabetes. And the second intervention um, that, I, that I identified was in mental health and illness resources. Given that Native Hawaiian mothers have a higher alcohol and drug usage during, um, during their pregnancy compared to their racial counterparts, research has found the need for earlier substance abuse detection in the antepartum phase of pregnancy. And similar, there is a need to detect mental health illnesses and other mental health issues antepartum rather than commonly emphasized postpartum um, after childbirth. And lastly, the third intervention that I identified was in postpartum and infant health resources. And one of the most stark maternal health disparities among Native Hawaiians is in infant mortality, as the infant mortality rate among Native Hawaiians, which is 7.9 deaths per 1,000 live births, is more than twice the rate than that of white mothers, clearly emphasizing a need for earlier mentioned resources to enable a, su a successful birth. Moving on to the third step, my third step of my research project was to integrate Native Hawaiian cultural principles into my two pamphlets. And there are two Native Hawaiian cultural principles that have helped same, um, set up the framework and lens of my project. The first, illustrated in this figure, Native Hawaiian health is a multifaceted concept that arises from different systems such as ohana or family, lahui or community, and aina or land. For example, in Native Hawaiian culture, food is not treated as a commodity, but rather as a means to, for Native Hawaiians to engage in their relationship with the aina. And the second um, cultural principle that has been extremely important in my pamphlet is that Native Hawaiian health is extremely collectivist. As shown in this figure, ohana or family has the most direct re um, relationship to the health of a Native Hawaiian individual. This concentric relationship indicates that in order to change the health of a Native Hawaiian mother, you must also change the health of her family. Their health practices and literacy reinforces each other or can also harm each other. The fourth and final step in my um, pamphlet creation process is to revise and review. And mainly throughout my revisions, I have incorporated more aspects of Native Hawaiian messaging into my pamphlet, content, and design. And lastly, to review my pamphlet, I reviewed my pamphlet with Native Hawaiian researchers to confirm the accuracy of the health information displayed. And I also did crowdsourcing with other Native Hawaiians in order to test the receptiveness of my pamphlet's messaging. This slide contains the content sections for each of my pamphlets. First, going over the pamphlet for Native Hawaiian mothers, the five content sections that I had was first general pregnancy information, second diet and nutrition, third mental health and illness, fourth postpartum and infant health, and fifth Native Hawaiian maternal health contact list. And if you have the pamphlets um, with you, it is the smaller pamphlet rather than the booklet. And then going on to my pamphlet for Hawaii's medical practitioners, which looks more like a booklet. The six content sections that I had for this was first, native, the causes for Native Hawaiian maternal health disparities. Second, an overview of Native Hawaiian health interventions and their successful characteristics. Third, diet and nutrition interventions. Fourth, mental health and illness interventions. Fifth, postpartum and infant health interventions. And lastly, a Native Hawaiian maternal resource contact list. And the main difference between my two pamphlets is that my pamphlet for Native Hawaiian mothers focuses more on the self-management of mothers during their pregnancy, whereas my pamphlet for medical practitioners focuses on the interventions needed for Native Hawaiian mothers in Hawaii's healthcare system. In addition to the content of my pamphlets, I also created a website with a pool of maternal health resources specifically designed for Native Hawaiian mothers and families. This website was made from Google Sites and is accessible through the pamphlet via QR code that can be used from any mobile device camera. 
and all resources are in, in the website are based on Oahu and have a program designed specifically for the Native Hawaiian community and are divided into three main categories. The first section of resource being general health, maternal health resources, then mental health services and food and nutrition resources. And the contact information for each specific resource, which is, either, is provided through either phone number, email address, or URL. Going on to the conclusion of my project, the result of my project were two pamphlets that can be used to educate the public on maternal health disparities among Native Hawaiians, one pamphlet that is targeted for Native Hawaiian mothers, and the second pamphlet that is, de uh, that is targeted for Hawaii's medical practitioners. And both of these pamphlets contain a QR code to my pool of resources for Native Hawaiian mothers and families. For future research, I would like to formally approve my pamphlet so that it can become published and disseminated, um, hopefully at, even, at Native Hawaiian programs or even hospitals. And this dissemination is crucial for the future of my research project because it will enable me to measure the effectiveness of my pamphlets so that I can both quantify and qualify how exactly educational awareness translates to better health outcomes among Native Hawaiian mothers. Now going on into the takeaways from my research project, two things that I've learned is first that for the completion of my project, it was crucial to hold myself accountable for many deadlines in my research project timeline. And especially because the outcome of my, um, of my research project was the two pamphlets that I had, I had to create different deadlines to design the pamphlet and to also create the content for it and to also revise and review it with my peers and um, other researchers. And lastly, more specific to the actual topic of my project, I've learned that there's much more resources, that much more resources in Hawaii need to be dedicated to indigenous research and also indigenous health. And for future honors independent research students, my advice is to first pursue a project that is not only something that you're passionate about, but also pursue something that can have a tangible benefit towards your community. And second, to maximize the resources that are around you, and also do not hesitate to pursue resources outside of the Iolani community. For the completion of my project, it was crucial that I sought outside re um, resources, particularly Native Hawaiian researchers um, um, outside of the Iolani community, and without their help, this pamphlet could not have been created. I would like to acknowledge some people for making this research project possible. Um, first to my family and friends for supporting me throughout this research process, and also foremost to Dr. Chan for your mentorship and encouragement throughout this research project. Um, thank you to Dr. Mauna Kea and Dr. Miller for the great conversations about Native Hawaiian medicine and also for reviewing my pamphlet. And to lastly, my period four honors independent research class who has peer reviewed my work and research papers thousands of, time, thousands of times and has gave me very insightful feedback. Finally, here are my references of sources used throughout my presentation and also some of them are in my pamphlets. And thank you so much for listening. <laughs>